This is Oki42. Moin! Welcome to the factory. Today we're gonna look at some more ways to generate free energy. Uh, why? Because in the next chapter there will be some kind of generator and you need to apply some sort of rotation to it to recharge your battery. Maybe it will kind of look like this, a setup. Of course, then it won't be the battery box, but the generator itself. So you all seem to like my video where I use the lift to generate rotation, so basically free energy. And I really liked the idea of having a hand crank. Maybe you know those little radios where you can turn a little crank and you charge them up. Or those flashlights where you push a lever to charge it up. So I thought of more ways to generate free rotation basically and I thought what about steering? I mean okay you can't do four rotations into one direction but you can alternate between turning in one direction and the other so why not use this to exploit it somehow and do some way of manually charge your batteries like this. So maybe you remember this device from my last video. This is a machine that can convert alternating rotation into one-way rotation. And I hooked the handle up. I better show you with my tool so you can better see. This is the only bearing I'm powering. So we are basically turning the handle on the right side back and forth. And if you watch the wheel in the middle closely, it's only rotating into one direction. So we are using our steering wheel to generate rotation into just one way. And that's, I think, what we want when we have the generator. But this machine was a little bit too bulky for my purpose or for my taste. So I tried to further compress it and I came up with this design. It doesn't work as good as the other one, but it does its job. And it's a little bit smaller, so yeah, more possible to fit it onto a vehicle, I guess. So you can watch the handle again, and you see uh, it's using our steering motion to generate rotation. So I thought, we don't have the generator yet, but can we do other things? with this machine and I thought yes maybe we can do some funny stuff with it. Can you see the two blocks on the outside? They look a little bit like wheels don't they? And they are turning into just one direction so I thought to myself can we build a car that is only powered by steering? I mean we would need to use something else for steering, but just for the proof of concept, can we build a manually powered car with this mechanism? And yes, of course we can. I did it. <laughs> this is my proof of concept hand crank card. It's ugly as hell. <laughs> It's very loud, but it works. It works. Can you see the handle? I'm rotating the handle back and forth. It's moving. It's fine. I added big wheels. That means a very big load, but steering is very strong. And yeah, so it means we have a little bit faster rotation than we would have with just small wheels. And of course, we don't need another transmission for that. So we can directly use the motion from our central gear to move forward. And that's it. I mean, we can't steer this thing because we're using steering to move forward. I guess I would need to add some sort of switches to this. And maybe it would even be possible to steer. But I leave this to you. Unleash your creativity, do this whatever you want, it's loud, it's clumsy, it's bulky, it's ugly. What do you expect more from a machine like this? It's a manual powered car. Let's have a closer look at our mannequin. He's giving everything he can to power these large wheels. 
<laughs> and it's working. Working very nice. So that's it for today. This was just a pretty short video, but believe me, it took me a long time to do this design and it's not easy to come up with stuff like that. So please be patient with me. I'm actually doing a lot of work off camera because I want to do a survival series in the future where we take all those tiny mechanisms we explored in the past and put them to real use in the scrap mechanic survival situation. But it takes a lot of time and I want to be ready before I start this series, so give me a little more of your patience and I guess it will be awesome. We can all work together to do some more crazy machines. So if you want to see me doing more crazy machines like this in survival, please leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. And you can join the Discord, of course, where we are sharing ideas and suggestions for future videos. Please join the community. You are very welcome to participate in the discussions. Okay, this was Orgy42. I see you around next week, I guess, for another video where we, we will explore how to do a mobile base and use those giant wheels to move it. See you around next time. Bye!